Hi makers, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra with Sierra's Crafty Creations and today we're going to be crocheting this beautiful triangle scarf called the Sawyer Scarf. Let's go over the materials that you're going to need for the Sawyer Scarf. First things up, we are going to need a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn. I'm using 100% acrylic yarn. You can use any size 4 that you'd like. I'm using Lion Brand Heartland yarn. You're gonna need, if you're using the same yarn, you're gonna need about three and a half skeins of this. But if you're using any other yarn, you're gonna need around 878 yards of yarn. You're gonna need a size J six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a handmade clay hook from my friend Becky over at Clay Fiber Co. You also need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. And you can use a stitch marker if you want to, but that is totally optional. I will not be using one today. And here are the stitches that we'll be using in this crochet pattern. We'll be using half double crochet, three double crochet, all in one stitch, puff stitch, half double crochet three together, and we'll be half double crocheting in the third loop, also named as camel stitch. So those are the stitches that we'll be using in today's pattern, but don't worry if you don't know how to do any of them, I will be showing them slowly at first as we go through the pattern. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and grab our yarn and our six millimeter crochet hook and get started. To start, we're going to create a slip knot. We're gonna grab our hook and insert it through our loop and pull to tighten. And we are going to chain three to start our very first row. So to chain, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through the loop that's already on your hook. That's one chain. Again, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through the loop, two chains, and once more. So we have a total of three chains and we're going to half double crochet in the second chain from our hook. So this is the first chain here. And this is the second chain. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our hook, insert into that second chain, wrap the yarn around your hook and pull through that chain. And you'll have three loops on your hook. And then you're gonna wrap around your hook again and pull through all three loops and that's a half double crochet. And then we'll be placing a half double crochet in the next chain. So you'll have a total of two. So you're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook, insert into this last chain, grab your yarn, pull through. You'll have your three loops, wrap your yarn around your hook and pull through all three. And that will be your second half double crochet. So, for this scarf, we're starting at the very corner, so it will be a very small V, and we're gonna be working outward to create the triangle shape. So this is the very beginning of our Sawyer scarf. It's the, the point, so it should look like this. And this is row one. To go to row two, we are going to chain one, so you're gonna grab your yarn, pull through the loop on your hook, and turn your work. For row two, we're gonna be doing three half double crochets in the same space. That is gonna count as an increase. And to do that, we're going to yarn over our hook, insert into the very first stitch, grab your yarn, pull through. You have your three loops, grab your yarn and pull through all three. That's your first half double crochet. And we're gonna put three all in that same space. So you're gonna yarn over or insert into that same exact stitch create your half double crochet, and once more, yarn over, insert into that very same space, create your half double crochet. So you'll have a total of three in that very first space, and that is gonna count as an increase. And then in the very last stitch, we're right here, because we only have two stitches in this row, we're gonna put one single half double crochet, and you'll have a total of four half double crochets in this row. Right, we're going to chain one and turn. In row three, we are going to half double crochet in every stitch across. 
So you'll have a total of four half double crochets in this row as well. And don't forget your last stitch here. It can look kind of hidden. We need to make sure that we have those four half double crochets. And we're going to chain one and turn. For row four, we'll be doing three half double crochets in the very first stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert into the very first stitch, create three half double crochets all in that same space. So yarn over, insert into the same stitch. And one, one more in the same stitch. So you'll have a total of three half double crochets all right there in the very first stitch. And then you're gonna half double crochet in the three remaining stitches. So one half double crochet in each remaining stitch. And this will give you a total of six half double crochets in this row. Don't forget that last stitch there. That one always likes to hide. All right, and so now you'll have six half double crochets. And for row five, we're going to chain one and turn. And you'll be placing a half double crochet in every single stitch across. It's always a good idea to count your stitches at the end of each row just to make sure that you're on track. But right now, you can see we have a little bit of a triangle going on. You can start seeing the shape forming. And like I said before, this is the start of our scarf. So this is the very edge or point of our scarf. And then we're gonna be making a triangle and the triangle is going to grow to make the middle point of our scarf and then we're gonna start decreasing. So right now we have our little triangle forming and we're going to go ahead and move on to row six. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and this is our increase row. So you might have caught on to the pattern already. So every even row, we're gonna be doing an increase and every odd row, you will be working in the stitches. So you'll have no increases on odd rows. So now that we're on row six, that's an even row, so we're gonna increase. And the increases are three half double crochets in the very first stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, insert into that very first stitch and create your three half double crochets. And then we're going to place one single half double crochet in every stitch across, and you will have a total of eight half double crochets in this row. For row seven, we'll be doing the half double crochet in the third loop. So this one's going to be a little bit different. So it's a half double crochet as normal, and we're just going to be placing it in a different space. So normally we would insert our hook here at the top of our stitch. For the third loop, it's actually gonna be this bar here in the back of our stitch. So you're gonna go under and up, grab your yarn, and create a half double crochet as regular. And again, yarn over this little bar here. You're gonna take your hook under and up. And that's the placement. So that's half double crochet in the third loop or some people call it the back loop. So you're taking your hook under and up. So that is where your hook should be. And we're gonna place a half double crochet in that third loop all the way across. And you should have a total of half, total of eight half double crochets. So you'll just keep doing this all the way across in that third loop. And then once we get to our clusters here at the end, it can be kind of hard because they're all smushed together. So you want to make sure that you're getting all three of those stitches. And this last one's kind of off to the side. It's kind of sideways. So that's our last stitch. And then we're going to move on to row eight. For row eight, we're going to chain one and turn. And this is what row seven looks like on the front. So this is the front side of our work. So doing the half double crochet in the third loop gives us this pretty raised up ridge, which gives some really lovely texture to the scarf. So for row eight, 
we are going to be doing an increase. So for every even row that we do, we're gonna be increasing by two stitches at the very beginning at the first stitch. So that is our three half double crochets in the first stitch. So we're gonna create our increase. So three half double crochets right there in the very first stitch. And then a half double crochet in every stitch across. And in this row, you will have a total of 10 half double crochets. All right, now that we just did our last stitch in row eight, we're gonna move to row nine. So we are going to chain one and turn. And row nine will also be doing half double crochet in the third loop. So just like row seven, you're gonna yarn over, insert in this third loop in the back here, and create your half double crochet as normal. Again, this ridge right here, you're gonna go under and up and create your half double crochet and keep doing that all the way to the end and in this row you'll also have a total of 10 half double crochets and just like last time you want to make sure when you're at your clusters to make sure that you're getting all three half double crochets in that back loop there and then we are going to move on to row 10 which is going to be a chain one and turn and now we're at the front of our work again and now we have two of these beautiful ridges for row 10, again, this is an even row, so that means we are going to increase. So that means three half double crochets in the very first stitch. And then a half double crochet in every stitch across. And in this row, you should have a total of 12 half double crochets. So like I said, every increase row, so every even row, we're increasing by two stitches. All right, so now we're moving on to row 11. And for this row, we're actually gonna be chaining two. So we're gonna chain two and turn our work. And this row, we are gonna be doing the puff stitch. So to do the puff stitch, you're gonna yarn over your hook. We're gonna be working the very first stitch here. So we're gonna insert our hook in the first stitch, grab some yarn and pull up a loop. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook again, insert into the very same stitch grab your yarn and pull up another loop. So now we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, insert into that same hook, into that same stitch, pull up a loop, and now you'll have seven loops on your hook. And we're gonna do it one last time. So yarn over, insert, grab some yarn and pull up a loop, and now you'll have nine loops on your hook. And what I like to do is kind of use my finger to hold this very first loop back a little bit and separate it just a bit, because we're gonna yarn over our hook and we're gonna pull through those first eight loops. So we're gonna pull through. You might need to wiggle it a little bit. All right, and then you'll be left with the two loops on your hook. You're gonna grab your yarn and pull through those final two loops. And that is gonna be your first puff stitch. We're gonna chain one and then we're gonna skip this stitch here, and then we're gonna create a puff stitch in the next stitch beside it. So yarn over, insert into that stitch, grab some yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, and last time, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. I do like to pull up a little bit, giving myself a little bit of space so it's easier to pull my hook through. But again, you're gonna grab your yarn and pull through all of these loops, but leaving this loop on your hook. So yarn over, grab through, pull through all those eight loops. So you'll have two loops left, yarn over and pull through both of those. Chain one, and again, we're gonna skip the next stitch and work into the one beside it, creating another puff stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, insert, and pull through four times in the same stitch for nine total loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first eight with two left. Yarn over, pull through those two, and chain one. And we're gonna keep doing that across. So we're gonna skip that one, work in the next. All right, and we're coming towards the end of our row here. We have our three half double crochet from the beginning of the last row. So we're gonna skip this one, work in the second, and that will leave us with one more stitch. 
So when we end this puff stitch here, normally we would chain one, but we're not gonna chain one to end. We're just gonna place a half double crochet in this very last stitch to end the row. So you'll have a total of six puff stitches and one half double crochet in this row. And this is the back of our work, so that's what it will look like. And we're gonna move on to row 12. We're going to chain one and turn. And this is the front of our work. And as you can see, our puff stitches are puffed out this way towards the front of our work. And we can tell it's the front because this is where our pretty ridges are. So that will always be a good indicator for you. And this is what it should be looking like for you right now. It kind of looks like a little slice of pizza or a slice of pie, which is great because we're looking for that triangle shape. And we're gonna keep going to row 12. And this is an even row. So you know what that means, guys? That means an increase row. So we're gonna be posting a half to three half double crochets in the very first stitch for our increase of two stitches. So we'll put our three half double crochets there. And this row is a little different than our other ones because we had our puff stitch rows before. So we're gonna place a half double crochet at the top of our puff stitch. So there is a stitch opening right there. So you're gonna create a half double crochet in the top of the puff stitch. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet in the chain one space, which is right here in between your two puff stitches. So you're just gonna insert your hook in that space underneath like this little bar here. So you're gonna insert your hook here and create your half double crochet as normal and keep doing that all the way across. So a half double crochet at the top of our puff stitches and then a half double crochet in our chain one space. And we'll keep doing that across and you will have a total of 14 half double crochets in this row. And at the very end, just make sure that you're putting a half double crochet in that very last puff stitch there. So at this point, we've done every type of row that we'll be doing in this pattern. So you should be pros at it, right? So to keep going, we're gonna do repeats of row seven through 12. And I'm gonna go over those again with you on camera and then I will meet you back later on. So to move forward, we're gonna do repeats from row seven through 12. So we just finished row 12, so that means we're gonna go back to a repeat of row seven. And row seven is a half double crochet in the third loop, so you're gonna chain one and turn. And this is an odd row, so we're not doing any increasing. So it's our half double crochet in the third loop, so these ridges back here. So you're gonna create a half double crochet in each stitch, so you'll have a total of 14 stitches just like you did in the previous row. And then again, we're just going under and up on this bar here and creating our half double crochets. And we're coming to the end of the row. I just wanna remind you to not forget that last stitch there since it is kind of off to the side and create your half double crochet in the third loop there. And then we're going to move on to the next row, which will be a repeat of row eight. So you're gonna chain one and turn. And because it's an even row, we're gonna be doing our increase, which is three half double crochets at the beginning, and then a single crochet in all the stitches across. And like I said, we're increasing by two. So our last row had 14 stitches. That means this row will have 16 stitches. All right, and once we're finished with that row, that is technically row 14, but a repeat of row eight. And then we'll be moving on to row 15, which is a repeat of row nine. So you're gonna chain one in turn. And row nine is another half double crochet in the third loop. So you're gonna yarn over, go in the third loop in the back here and create your half double crochets. And this is an odd row. So we have no increases. So you'll have the same number of stitches that you had last row, which is a total of 16. All right, now that we finished up that row, we are going to chain one in turn. And this is the front of our work. This is what your scarf will be looking like at this point. And for this next row, we are going to be doing a repeat of row 10, which is an increase row. So again, three half double crochets in the very first stitch. And then a half double crochet in every stitch across. So we had 16 stitches in our last row and we're increasing by two. So you'll have a total of 18. If you guys wanna be able to keep track of this and follow along with your stitch count and all that fun stuff, 
be sure to check out the pattern for this, the written pattern. I have a link to that in the description. I'm gonna move on to a repeat of row 11, which to start 11, you're gonna do a chain two and turn your work. And this is gonna be our puff stitch row. So again, we're gonna be working the very first stitch for our puff stitch. So you're gonna yarn over your hook, insert into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, and one last time. So you're gonna do that a total of four times. And again, with the very first one, it's a little trickier. So you're gonna wanna kind of separate that very first loop yarn over and pull through the first eight loops. Might have to wiggle your hook a little bit. You'll have two loops left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both of those two, and then chain one. And then you're going to skip this next stitch and work into the next one with another puff stitch. So insert one, yarn over two, yarn over three, yarn over four. Yarn over, pull through the first eight, leaving two left, yarn over, pull through those two, and chain one. So go ahead and keep doing that all the way across. All right, we're coming to the end of this row, and this is our three half double crochet cluster from the very first one, our increase row. So we're gonna skip this one, work in this one here. And again, this is our last puff stitch, so we're not gonna chain one at the end of it. We are just going to create a half double crochet in the very last stitch right here. So no chain one after this puff stitch, just insert into the very last stitch and create a half double crochet. And that is going to end your puff stitch row. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine puff stitches and one half double crochet. And so we're going to go to our next row, chain one and turn. And this is going to be a repeat of row 12 which is going to be an increase row. So you're gonna half double crochet three in the very first stitch. And then we're gonna place a half double crochet at the top of the puff stitches. And one half double crochet in a chain one space between your puff stitches. And you're gonna do that all the way across. All right, you guys, this is how your scarf should be looking at this point here is the very point. This is one side and we have grown it. And now we have two rows of puff stitches and now it looks like an extra big slice of pizza. All right, so you're gonna keep doing those repeats. Repeat from row seven to 12. I'll go ahead and insert a graphic of those repeats here. And you guys, you're just gonna keep following that until you reach your middle point and honestly with this scarf you can make it as big or as little as you want so you're gonna keep growing it by repeating those 7 through 12 and in my pattern I go until I reach row 83 and then I start my decrease row so row 83 is my middle point so this for example if this was our scarf this row right here would be our middle point so that would be the longest that would be what hangs in front of the triangle scarf so that is going to be that should be your longest point and then we'll start decreasing and I'll meet you back for that so you can go until row 83 like I do or you can keep going or stop before then whatever size you want to make this scarf you can totally make it your own so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and start and keep finishing these repeats rows 7 through 12 and I will come back and meet you when we get to our middle point and then we will start decreasing. Okay, friends, now that we've been repeating rows seven through 12, we have come to our middle point. So this is what my scarf's looking like. Um, it's kind of hard to show all on screen because it's a bit large now. If you went to row 83, you will be right where I am now. You will be on your 13th puff stitch row. So that's a good way to keep track is just counting the puff stitch rows because they're a little, you know, easier to see and count. So this will be your 13th and this is going to be our middle point. And no matter if you're following along with me doing the 83 rows, just as long as you end on a puff stitch row, you can make it as long or as short as you want. So 
Now that we're at our puff stitch row where we're, this is our longest point. So this is going to be the middle of our scarf. And as you can see, it comes to the point here. That's what's gonna be the middle of our scarf. So now that we've reached that point, we're gonna do decreasing. So the only difference in the decreasing section is instead of increasing on our even rows, we are going to be decreasing on our even rows. But all the other rows will be the same that we have been doing. So now that we've reached our middle point puff stitch, and to start my next row, I'm gonna do a decrease. Let me zoom in here for you so that you can see. So normally we would be putting three half double crochets in that very first stitch. That's what we've been doing this whole time. But now we want to decrease to shape the other part of our shawl here. So we're going to do three half double crochet decrease over the first three stitches. So we're going to half double crochet three together and that will be a decrease over the first three stitches. And to do that, you would yarn over your hook as normal to do a half double crochet. We're gonna insert into the very first stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. Then we're gonna yarn over again, insert into the second stitch, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. You have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. And then we're gonna yarn over again and insert into our chain one space here, grab our yarn and pull up a loop. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook, and then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all seven. And that's going to pull all of these stitches into one stitch, and that is going to be a decrease. So after we do that, it will be the same as usual. So then we'll be doing half double crochet in the top of your puff stitch, half double crochet in your chain one space. So that's the only difference on this side of things is you'll be doing the half double crochet three together at the beginning of your even rows rather than doing the increase. So all your other rows will be as normal, just like they were before. So after this one, we'll do a half double crochet in the third loop row, and then we'll be back to our decrease row. So now we need to think of our even rows as decrease rows rather than increase rows. And when we're doing the half double crochet in the back loop on the next row after we have done a decrease, this is what the back of the decrease looks like. So I just want to go over so you don't miss a stitch. This is not the last stitch here. Since it's a cluster, there's not a clear bar to go through, so I just go through a couple like this and create my back half double crochet in the third loop that way. And um, I just wanna show that just so you're not missing your last stitch because sometimes it is hard. I'm gonna undo it just to show you again because right here, it looks like this part, it looks like this is our last stitch. So. I just want you to be aware of that when you're doing your back post half double crochets during the decrease section of the scarf so that you don't miss. Um, again, if you are following along with the written, it has all of the stitch counts for every row. So if you are following that, just make sure you're counting your stitches as well. So I wanted to show you the decrease again on camera before I let you go off to finish your rows here. And I will meet you back when we come to the very end of our scarf where we'll be doing our second point. So I'll meet you back there, but I wanted to show the decrease just one more time for you. So we're gonna have double crochet three together. So we're working over the first three stitches. You're gonna yarn over, insert into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the second stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the third stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and then continue as normal. And as you can see this, let me turn my scarf around here. You can see how the decrease is working. So this was our increase side. We came to our middle point and now we're decreasing. And this is just going to shape the other side of our scarf to get that nice triangle look. 
So like I said, you're gonna keep going doing this just like you were with the increases, repeating the same seven through 12 rows. But now instead of doing increases, we will be doing decreases. So I'll go ahead and meet you back when we are ready to completely finish off the scarf and we'll be doing the last few rows on camera and it will be your second point. This will be your other side of your scarf that will look just like this. So I will meet you back when it's time to do that. Okay, we're now reached the other end of our scarf here, the other point. And we are just gonna finish just like we started. So we're done doing puff stitch rows and done doing half double crochet in the back loop rows. So we are just gonna be doing half double crochet rows. So. I just finished doing a half double crochet in the third loop. So now I am on an even row, so I'm gonna start with a decrease. So I'm gonna half double crochet three together over the first three stitches, and then half double crochet in your remaining stitches if you're following along with the pattern. The written pattern, it'll be one, two, three, four stitches after half double crochet three together chain one and turn and then we'll just be placing half double crochet and each stitch across for a total of five half double crochets chain one and turn and we'll be decreasing do our half double crochet three together over the first three stitches, and then half double crochet in the two remaining stitches, chain one and turn, and then we'll half double crochet in three stitches across, chain one and turn. We're going to half double crochet decrease across all three. So we're going to do a decrease in all three stitches across. And that is going to be our end of our row. So now we can grab our scissors, cut a tail long enough for us to weave in. And I like to do a chain one. So grab my yarn and pull, but then I'm gonna pull that little tail all the way through and that will just create a little knot to secure the end. And that is what the end of your scarf will look like. So now we are all finished with the scarf. And what you're gonna wanna do is grab your yarn needle and take any of these little ends that you might have and just weave them through your project to tie them in and you are all done. Now that we've finished our Sawyer scarves, you can leave them as be where they would look like this. This is my middle point here and your ends, you can leave them as is, or you can add fringe along the side, or you can add tassels. I added tassels to mine, and I will show you how I make my tassels. So you can use the same color you used in your yarn or any other color you'd like, but you wanna grab your yarn, and we're gonna cut about six inches of yarn off, and we're gonna set that off to the side. We're gonna use that in a minute. And then we're going to take our yarn, and I just like to use my hand. If you want longer tassels, you can use a book or a DVD case or whatever size object that you have lying around for the length that you want it. And I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna use my hand. You're gonna start with your yarn like this, and then just start wrapping your yarn around your hand. And the more wraps that you do, the thicker your tassels are gonna be. So I'm just gonna do, let's say 50 wraps. All right, and once you've wrapped it as much as you'd like, you're gonna cut on the bottom here. And we're going to grab that piece that we cut off earlier. And I'm just gonna put this in between my finger, my index finger and my middle finger and kind of pull it through. And then we're going to take this and tie a knot at the top. Like this, and I like to double knot it just to be secure. 
And now this part is how we're going to attach it to our scarf. And now we're gonna to wanna to take our scissors and go on the bottom. So in this part, we're gonna cut here. You're gonna cut through all of your yarn on the bottom. Make sure you're getting all the loops there. And then we're gonna take another piece of yarn and cut this. We're gonna lay our piece of yarn down and we're gonna lay our tassel on top of it. And we're gonna create another, just tie it around like this. And again, like to double knot. You wanna tie it, try and squeeze it tight, hold it down and do your other double knot so it stays nice and tight. All right, and that is how you can create a tassel. And then you'll just wanna trim this so they're all the same length. As many as these you want, but I like to put one on each end and one in the middle. So I made three tassels, and then I will show you how we can attach these to our scarves. Okay, this is the middle of my scarf, and I'm gonna attach my tassel. So I like to take my crochet hook going from top through to the bottom, taking my yarn and grabbing and pulling it up. And then you'll just take these and you will knot it. You can double knot it here as well. And then you're gonna take your yarn needle and weave in these ends. You can weave them through your tassel or weave them up through your scarf. But once you do that, it will be attached and that's how it will look for you. And like I said, you can do tassels, you can do fringe all along the edge, or you can just leave it as be however you'd like to finish off your scarf. All right, congratulations guys, you finished the Sawyer scarf. I really hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. Here is a little video of me putting on my scarf and how I typically wear my triangle scarf. But if you want to check out more ways to wear them, I posted a fun little Instagram reel on my Instagram showing four ways that you can wear them. But be sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tutorials.